Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. Today we're going to be discussing a medication known as Losartan. Its brand name is Kozar. And before we talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. And quickly, if at any time during this video you find this information to be valuable, please consider leaving a like on the video as it would really help me with the YouTube algorithm. So first, what will we cover in this presentation? We'll start by talking about how Losartan works. We'll then discuss indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, followed by contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe Losartan. We'll then discuss examples of dosing, and then stick around to the end where we'll talk about side effects with percentages. So how does Losartan work? Well, Losartan is an orally active non-peptide angiotensin II receptor blocker, or an ERB. It blocks the vasoconstrictor and aldosterone secreting effects of angiotensin II by selectively blocking the binding of angiotensin II. In terms of indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, we often see it used in hypertension or high blood pressure. We may see it used for the prevention of a cerebrovascular accident in patients with left ventricular hypertrophy or in diabetic nephropathy in patients with type 2 diabetes and a history of hypertension or high blood pressure. With respect to contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe Losartan, we wouldn't give it to a patient who had a hypersensitivity to Losartan or any other component of the formulation. As well, it wouldn't be used with alaskirin in patients with diabetes. Now what about dosing with Losartan? So in the treatment of hypertension or high blood pressure, the initial dose would typically be 50 milligrams orally once daily. The patient may increase the dose as needed to control blood pressure. This would be done under the instruction of their physician. The maximum dose would be 100 milligrams per day. In heart failure, for example, the initial dose would be 25 to 50 milligrams orally once daily, and the maximum dose in this setting would be 150 milligrams per day. Now, as with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using Losartan, so go over some of those here now. 3% of patients may experience dizziness, while a backache may happen 2% of the time. 17-29% to 29 of patients may experience a cough if they experience one with an ACE inhibitor prior to starting Losartan. 2% may experience nasal congestion, and 8% may experience an upper respiratory infection. Now, some more rare but serious side effects would be syncope or fainting, a cerebrovascular accident, or acute renal or kidney failure. That's all we're going to talk about today with Losartan or Kozar. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. That's it for today. Take care.